Hey, greetings, fellow Battlefield Bad Company 2 gamers. This is Vamp9190. Um, this is part 5 of 6 video clips. Um, and, um, man, what was the last one finished up on? It goes Isla Innocentes. So, um, uh, we switched the game, jumped in onto uh, Arica, Arica Harbor. And uh, I jumped into a tank. So this is the this is the Russian side. So I'm in the T80. Um, and you can see uh, I'm an engineer, so I can repair the vehicle also. Um, and I'm throwing out um, anti-tank mines. I do that on certain maps and. Um, Obviously, maps that have vehicles have tanks primarily. <laughs> but no, what I'll do is at the beginning of the game, um, I'll, I'll grab anti-tank mines and I'll get like double ammo, double uh, explosives, and I will run, race to the choke points and just dump down all the you know, all the anti-tank mines in, in, in those spots. And um, uh, and, and typically, you know, I, I will. You know, get a kill here and there, or if not right away, you know, those things sit there even after you get killed. So, like, it might be like a couple minutes later, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, you know, they'll run over the mines, and I'll see my name pop up. It's like I get the kill, so it's always nice. Um, it's nice when you know you're the one getting the kill, not when you run over the mines. So, a tip is when you're driving vehicles. Um, you know, keep kind of keep an eye on the ground because you can actually see them on there. It's it's tough though. Sometimes it looks like a rock or whatever. It's like the, you know a little disc thing. But if you're not really paying attention, you might not even notice. So keep an eye out. And what you can actually do is shoot those like with the main gun or with the machine gun. And obviously, don't be too close when you shoot them. <laughs> but um, but when you shoot them, it'll blow them up. And um, and obviously then you're not gonna run over them and get blown up yourself so um, so I just took out that tank which was pretty cool um, I have the smoke as, as my alternate here just because I don't know why I hardly ever use the smoke but I think what it was um, I, I was I wanted to hide from that UAV if necessary and also um, throw up a smoke screen because I knew the other tanks would be would be uh, trying to hit me. But see, that's the other thing is like you throw up the smoke screen, but you're still in the same line of fire. Like you know, if you see a smoke screen pop up, you know the tank's there. It's just backing up a little bit. So just raise your aim up and aim a little bit farther, and normally you'll see a hit marker even through the smoke. So that's another tip is like don't let smoke like if you're the attacker and you see smoke pop don't get all freaked out just shoot through the smoke and you typically you'll, you'll actually get a hit um, and uh, um, but smoke is really useful to um, uh, to get rid of the tracer darts so I think that's another thing why I had it it's like a lot of people use the tracer darts especially if you're flying the helicopter and use that as your secondary um, you know, uh, secondary function weapon when if someone tracer darts the helicopter you just pop that smoke and it'll disable that tracer dart so that's actually a very good um, you know very good uh, feature or very good um, alternate weapon to use um, in certain cases yeah we're getting slammed here I, I think I'm like oh this thing's gonna blow up so I try and repair it, but I think they, and actually two of us repairing it, but, you know, it was too far gone, so the next shot took it, took us out. Alright, so, this, I like this map, it's like one of my favorite maps, but this first section of it, um, it's like, actually, uh, it's real, I don't like it too much, just because it's just, it's so wide open, and, you, you know, you either have to be up on the hill or on the sides, and, I don't know. It's a real tough section for me to play. I always get caught out in the open, like you can see here, like a dummy. Um, but it's just 
you either have to be a sniper up in the hills or, you know, I don't know. It's just, or, or you know, actually drive the tanks, you know, because it's, I guess it's meant for tank battles, but, um, but I really like the fact that this map now, or, you know, I guess at one point, um, you know, that it has conquest, because I've been, oh man, that didn't work at all, huh? I got, uh, owned there, that was a little bit of an epic fail, trying to jump on that, that, uh, AT gun. Man, I don't even think I got that knife. I don't know if someone else took him out. That's frustrating when you're about to knife someone and a teammate like shoots him and you're like, what the hell, dude? I don't know what happens here. I should have gone down because I remember this. I, I, hit, I planted the tracer dart and I launched like four or five rockets and I can't take this guy out. So it must have been that the, the driver was an engineer and he jumped out and was, he was fixing the tank while I was shooting these rockets. So I should have run down there and, you know, shot him, just take him out with my gun. But, uh, was, I guess I was being lazy. No, because I, I think I kept thinking, I'm like, okay, well, this, this next rocket's definitely going to take him out. And it just never does. And I'm like, what the heck? And the RPG is what, well, for the for the tracer dart, the R, the RPG does the most damage versus vehicles. Um, the Carl Gustav is not as much damage, and the the self guided one, that AT4, is actually I think that does the most damage versus vehicles. But man, that I I I can hardly ever get that thing to hit. I don't know what I'm moving the box, and I'm thinking I'm I'm moving it into the thing to hit, and it just that rocket just keeps flying or something. I don't know. I'm the worst with that. I gotta practice with it, I guess. But um, but the tracer dart and either the uh, RPG seven or the Carl Gustav is a great combination. You can see here I get a hit, but um, don't take him out, and then I switch. I reload, and then by now he's driving too far away, and that was a miss. That wasn't a very good shot. And then I have one left, and I don't get this kill. So now I'm out of ammo, so I'm like, ugh, and I'm stuck. So I got frustrated there. Alright, so, uh... I think I'm kind of pinned down by these tanks here. I don't have any assault guys on our team that are close by to this line. Oh, I see. I did. I, I think I got the kill, the vehicle kill with the end of the I think. i got to go back and watch that the video. I thought it popped up on the screen. And then I, I got that sniper with the... Um, uh, with the with the scar L, I picked him off, so that was pretty cool. I like that. I was very proud of myself. <laughs> oh, funny, but um, but I, I think I'm just screwing around here. I'm in the, the fixed AT gun, and then um, and now action is moving on to the the middle section here of of uh, Arica Harbor. So now we have to go on these other MCOMs. No, I don't know what happened here. I guess. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. Because we're defenders, so we we're supposed to be at the bottom, and I was still at the top, and so I ended up um, kind of behind enemy lines, so to speak. And so I get I get a few kills here, but I think they find me pretty quickly, or I screw up or something. I forget. Yeah, I, I think I think I turn the corner, and the guy just he he knows I'm back here. I think and, and takes me out. So oh well, I wasn't really paying too much attention. Yeah, he saw me early. I didn't see him. I think it lagged up a little bit. All right, so this w video is winding up, and thanks for watching. Um, this uh, part five and part six um, is a short. It's it's a shorter clip that kind of 
wraps every wraps the game session up. But I'll see you in the next part. Thanks. Bye.